back over here at the Ozark cabin project today we now have the sky track or tail handler sky genie I don't know what this one is and we were supposed to have a man platform but we couldn't get it so we've ended up fabricating one I do not recommend this we didn't have any screws so everything is just nailed together we'll be bringing screws back and some better straps later we tried a couple pallets but they're all pretty rotten so Anyways, we're going to get up here on the, start going over the gables. You want to go to the other end first? No. Okay, we'll, we'll boom up here and take a look at this one first and see what we have to do. Um, they're going to be doing some kind of uh, one inch live edge lap siding. And if that's the case, the truss is probably going to have to be scooted back. But we'll know more later. This will be your camera lady for the day. Board holder. Anyway, she escaped the house to come out here with us today. We should have the crew here tomorrow, but for today it's just going to be the three of us. Anyway, camera lady. We've got to pull this truss loose and move it back in a half inch because at some point in the future we'll be putting half inch sheeting on this gable and the half inch sheeting needs to be flush with that bar so there we go am i good or do i need to move you're close on my end and kind of far away on his i can square up grandpa if you want um take us down and give us a uh, impact they put them in with screws as you can see now we're spaced in about a half inch to give the sheeting room to uh, put down on top of the truss When you're nailing these things down, you always try to put your nail through a piece of the truss webbing if you can, because it's much stronger. Doesn't split the wood bad. Get the middle a little bit here. Uh, I think we'll just leave it out of plumb. Yeah. And work our way back from the other end. And okay. Because these uh, metal yeah. spacers don't lend themselves to. Yeah, to moving. You want one more nail? Well, right in, right in the middle. Make me feel better about it. You feel better? Me. I felt pretty good about it anyway. Okay, show them, Grandpa. <laughs> that shutting off is getting old. Are you still ready? I'm ready. That was on there good. Hey, I don't think he spent much time trying to make sure everything was up to stuff.
Let's say the center of this log is up a little ways. Probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how big fight. At the moment, this outside truss, the top of it, has a big uh, crook in it. So we've got to uh, brace all these up so they don't fall over. Then I have to take that metal spacer out and then straighten this truss up and brace it. And then we will put in, uh, every two feet we'll put a, a, what's called a lookout in that supports the overhang. You will see it in action. <laughs> Thing is kind of wax yeah, it don't work very good. Her wrench. Okay. I'm going to put an angle brace in from the log wall, which is fairly stable, and I'll attach it to this. Like a truss, which is now tied to all the trusses. Hmm. We have got two feet and a quarter, so we'll be cutting off an uh, inch and five eighths or something like that. So you want me to get you bored with a hat? Oh, uh, not yet. I, th I think I can figure it out. Get these out. Okay. Once we get set up, uh, we probably could. Why don't I set this at uh, 23 and a half to the outside? And that'll give us a little bit of space on us. Uh, it's what, 22 and a half normal? Uh, 23 and a half total, so I'll make it at 22 for the cutoff. And then just in case, you know, we have a bad tail or something, we'll have just a okay. little bit of more adjustment there. If you bring that camera over there, Grandpa, explain how you're setting that up to get a 412. Well, it is not a 412. It is a, it's a hair over a 512. Anyway, what I'm doing, Amy, is I'm putting the pivot point of the square down here at this mm -hmm. long point angle, and then I find the, where the square fits the angle and says, if you look over here, you'll see that we're on a 512 pitch. Yep. If it was, we thought it was a 412. Uh, a 412. It, it is supposed to be a 412. Yeah. That angle is not. Well, they <laughs> might have cut the tail wrong. Uh, we probably ought to check the peak before we... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking.
five. It is a five. Yep. Okay. We will put uh, these uh, supports for the overhang, which is fit to the two to four of it. Sticking out from the old. We'll put them on it every two feet. That means uh, if I put them on out here where the overhang is going to be. Two feet to the center of this overhang. Two to four is uh, three and a half inches wide, so we'll go to an inch and three quarters below the center mark and an inch and three quarters above the center mark. The reason we do that is so the one that's every four feet, the plywood actually is, uh, puts the joint on that. Look at From there, we can just go two foot, four foot, six foot, like a normal layout would be. All right, I'll take the skill saw. We'll set it for an inch and a half deep. I can find the adjustment. Tight. <laughs> and then I'll make several passes across here, knock the chips out. We'll have an inch and a half recess for the two before to fit down in. Makes sense. Look out below. And people below will learn to look out. It's supposed to be a headache before you You're over there making boards with a hat on it. It'll be interesting with the audio. Oh. Alright, we're going to be making a board with a hat. So we're going to take, set our pivot point up here, come down here on our common cut, and we'll come to a 5. And then we have a, it'll be a 512. Just 
gonna come here. Board, I don't know, that long. And we'll find us another board. We can nail on top. We'll take this piece of pallet material. Take. I normally use some eights, but I don't have any here. I'm gonna take and just nail this on here. Okay, we're bringing up a board with a hat on it here. This is just a little tool to make it easier to mark where the tail's cut off on the bottom of the truck. We'll take and pop a chalk line across from the both gable tails, and then you line the top of that board up with your chalk mark. You mark it, and all your tails are the same length. All right, and that's where the tail cuts off. The 2 by 4 subfascia will simply nail onto the end of that uh, cut off here for the line. Is it? All right, I guess we can go up a little and then work our way back down with the with that. <laughs> I guess I need, uh, let's see, these need to be uh, 23 plus 22, so uh, 45 inch lookouts. Alright, I'll put a layout on here at 23 inches, which should space the uh, Looking? I'm looking. No, even when I'm moving it, it still goes dim. It'll go dim, but it shouldn't go off. Yeah, it turns off after it goes dim. It turns off. It should say overheat if it's overheating, though. Oh, heavy.
we had cut both tails on the gable trusses off at the length that we needed and then snapped a line with a chalk line from one end to the other and then we'll come through with this board with a hat and mark from that line down that'll set our overhang on all uh, the same distance give us a straight line to That'll do it for this video. Uh, if you've actually made it all the way through this, we appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.